four-year-old girl and her dog go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the harsh Siberian wilderness. Four-year-old Karina Chikatova lived in a remote Siberian village in the Far East region called the Saka Republic. There she shared a small home with her father, mother, grandfather and her dog Nida. Like most kids her age, Karina was energized by a youthful curiosity that urged to explore and know and understand, which was why in July of 2014 she followed her father, Ridian, on an expedition into a part of the Siberian wilderness also known as the Taiga. Now this decision was problematic for a few reasons the first reason being that the taiga is very much an animal kingdom Dominated by bears tigers and wolves with really sharp teeth and an appetite for small children The second problem with Karina's decision was that she had not told her grandmother the person charged with watching her at the time That she would be following her dad into the bear infested wilderness In fact, she hadn't even told her dad that she'd be following him so literally no one on the planet knew that this four-year-old girl was diving headstrong into the most dangerous territory on the planet No person at least Karina did have a companion at her side Nida the family dog that evidently was all the comfort the little girl needed But it was little comfort to her mother Talina when she realized her little girl and the dog were both missing At first Talina figured her youngster and the dog followed Rodian to his native village but Siberia wasn't exactly flooded with quality LTE, so she couldn't pull out a cell phone and check. So she waited to hear from her husband. In the meantime, Karina followed her father until she somehow managed to lose his trail. Her dad disappeared from her view, leaving her very much stranded in Siberia with Nida and bears and the wolves. It took four days of waiting for her mother Talina to learn that no, her daughter was not with her husband in his home village. No stranger to Siberia, she understood this to be a very bad thing, so she alerted authorities. They deployed a 100 person rescue team to head out into Siberian wilds to find her. The team carried rifles to fend off bears. Yeah, there were that many bears in the woods. Helicopters sliced the sky, and rescue workers on foot combed through the trees and tall grass, but their search proved fruitless. Karina was nowhere to be seen. But then, nine days after she went missing, authorities found a clue. More specifically, a clue walked right up to the authorities and introduced herself. Nina returned to her home, but Karina was not with her. What should have been a hopeful moment only seemed to confirm Talina's worst thoughts. If she was to hug her puppy, Talina thought, we thought this would have given her a chance to survive. But when her dog came back, we thought, that's it. Even if she was alive and chances were slim, now she would have definitely lost all hope. But Nida hadn't just wandered absent-mindedly home. She seemed eager to show the desperate family and the rescue crew something important The dog headed the group of right there was and led them into the wilderness The dog led authorities to a spot in the wilderness, but none of them saw Karina there Nida it seemed couldn't find the exact area where she'd left the little girl Authorities wondered if they were anywhere near her at all But three days later 12 days after Karina first went missing rescue workers spotted a child-sized footprint on a riverbed beside a dog's paw print the footprint revealed Karina was barefoot, a crucial detail for investigators. This told rescue workers that Karina likely was not in the woods. Too many sharp sticks there would have been a nightmare on her feet. This narrowed their search down considerably, and the following morning they executed that new search plan. And sure enough, just 20 meters from where they started searching, one rescue worker noticed a peculiar lump tucked away in a patch of tall grass. The whole crew rushed over. They found her nestled in the grass. She was starving, thirsty, exhausted, and covered in mosquito bites, but nevertheless alive. They brought her tea before carrying her to a car and whisking her away to the nearest hospital. The child spent some time in the hospital, but physicians determined there wouldn't be any lasting damage. A psychologist examined her mental state and found, shockingly, her mind was in a good place. Talk about mental fortitude. So how did a four-year-old girl survive in the Siberian wilderness? The little girl told reporters and her family that she survived off wild berries and river water Then of course there was Nida the lovable canine that gave her warmth at night and companionship in the daytime The two reunited for the first time back at home when the hospital released Karina 
The meeting did not go as expected. When Karina first saw her dog, she looked her in the eyes and chided, Why did you leave me? Those three days of solitude must have really affected the little girl, but eventually she came to understand what the dog did for her. It was Nida who rescued me, Karina said sometime later. I was really, really scared, but when we were going to sleep, I hugged her and together we were warm. Karina's story gripped everyone watching, and locals even erected a statue of the girl and her pooch to celebrate their strength and will to survive. Not bad for a four-year-old and her dog, huh? In the end, Karina made a full recovery and by 2018 attended a ballet boarding school 350 miles away from the village she'd wandered away from all those years ago. Her teachers believe she had the talent to compete in Russia's competitive ballet scene. When she just started her classes, Karina was very reserved, a boarding school leader said. She's changed so much and become a lot more open, sociable, friendly and independent. She made many friends who love her lots. But even as she danced like an expert and earned friends with her exuberant personality, she would never forget the friend that made it all possible, Nida, the loyal canine. If you enjoy the video, drop us a like and share. If you want more videos, subscribe now.